This is the Data Video BC50. It's a really versatile HD block camera with 20x optical zoom. You can control it remotely. It has an SDI output, audio input, and it has a built-in streaming encoder so you can stream to Facebook Live and YouTube Live straight out of the camera. In this video, we're gonna talk about the features of the BC50 as well as how to set it up with a laptop and a tablet so you can start streaming. Let's get started. If you're wondering what the video quality of the BC50 looks like, you're watching it now. We're recording at 1920 by 1080p resolution at 60 frames per second to an external recorder via the BC50's SDI output. So the microphone input on the back of the Data Video BC50 does not transmit audio through the SDI output. However, it does transmit audio for a live stream, which is what I'm doing now. You can use a shotgun mic, as long as it has a 3.5 millimeter auxiliary input, which is the same size as a headphone jack, and its own power. You can also use a lavalier mic that's wireless, like I'm using here. That being said, the video quality of the BC50 has really good color, good image detail, and I think that we're doing as much justice to the BC50 as we could, considering I have a very basic lighting setup here in my home studio. Basically, it's a window. Now let's take a brief tour of the menu settings for the BC50. Connect your BC50 to a monitor using the SDI output so you can see the image. Connect the BC50 to your router using an ethernet cable. Once those two connections are complete, plug the BC50 into power to turn it on. Here I have my talent, a small figure, and I've moved in some small lights to simulate how you would light an actual person. We are making the video during 2020's stay at home era, so good talent is really hard to come by. Now in back of the BC50, you're going to see five buttons on the lower left. The center button is the menu slash okay button, and the button to its left is to scroll left, the button to its right is to scroll right. The top button will zoom in, and the bottom button will zoom out. Now to access the menu, press the menu button. First, let's look at exposure. You can have it set in manual mode, full auto, bright mode, aperture priority, or shutter priority. Next is color. Under white balance mode, VAR is for variable, and you can set the color temperature below. You can also set your white balance to auto, indoor, outdoor, or one push. Next is image. You can adjust the luminance, contrast, and sharpness. You can also control the focus settings of the BC50. Only adjust these settings if you're having issues. Next is the noise reduction. This is really handy in low light scenarios. Next is the setting menu. Under the setting menu, you can change the video format of the BC50. It can shoot in resolutions up to 1080p at 60 frames per second. In this menu, you can see the current firmware version of your BC50, and most importantly, you can see what the IP address is for the BC50 that was assigned to it by your router. Now we can access the BC50 using a device connected to the same network. So go on to your device and open up your browser of choice. Then enter in the BC50's IP address. The default username is admin and the default password is also admin. And now we can access the settings for the BC50 through this web interface. You can adjust all the video settings here, as well as the bitrate and resolution for your streaming. You can adjust your audio settings. Under system, you can reboot the camera. This will come in handy later as we change the settings for live streaming. Under network, you can assign the BC50 a new IP address, and you can copy and paste your stream key 
from your CDN right here to do live streaming. To learn how to stream the Facebook Live and YouTube Live using the Data Video BC50, there is going to be a link in the description below. Lastly, under information, you can give your BC50 a new name and you can see which software version you're currently using. So to learn more about the Data Video BC50, go to datavideo.com. Also, if you'd like to learn how to stream with the Data Video BC50 to YouTube Live and Facebook Live, be sure to click the link on the description below. Like us on all our social media, subscribe to us on YouTube, and we'll see you next time.